Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today, um, a pencil review. These are some pencils I was just a couple days ago at my local Target store. And uh, in the school office supply aisle, I came across these. Now, Target had long carried the Papermate Murado pencils, which they're no longer making, uh, but instead they are making these, and these were on the shelf. This is a dozen pencils, and I thought, huh, okay. Uh, at first glance, they look like the Murado, especially with these uh, kind of bronzy, toned ferrules with the maroon band across them. And uh, so these, however, are not Murado. These are Papermate, just says wood cased, wood cased pencils, reinforced brake resistant lead, okay, uh, ever strong. And it looks like it's kind of one word there, ever strong. And I believe that's maybe what they're calling these pencils. And you can see it says bonus eraser. And it comes with a pink pearl, uh, which is also a paper made product uh, included. So 12 pencils and a pink pearl eraser. I want to say it was around almost $3 for this pack US. Um, on the back, yes, Paper Mate Ever Strong is the name of the pencil. Uh, Paper Mate Ever Strong pencil has strong lead that resists breakage. 100% latex free eraser. Uh, brake resistant, reinforced, brake resistant lead when writing. Strong lead, longer lasting pencil from less sharpening. Also try paper made pens. Uh, Newell Brands uh, is part of uh, the parent company of Paper Mate. There's the 800 number. Here it says pencils made in Mexico, uh, which is where they were making the Murados, and uh, eraser made in China, which is where they're now making the pink pearls. Uh, and there's the website mailing address. They do a box tops for education, UPC code. So there it is. So I am um, was curious to try these and kind of see how they compared to the, the pencil that they're obviously replacing. They, I wonder if they just, you know, had a million of these ferrules, so they're keeping with the color. Um, and, but just for the heck of it, here's what I did. I got a Murado out. So, here we go. Here's the Murado. Here is the ever strong brake resistant lead. Um, at first glance, I mean really the same. Same eraser, at least the same color. Same ferrule, certainly. And same paint. Same gold imprint. Uh, so both hexagonal in shape. Really similar pencils. So I don't know how different the lead uh, core is on the Everstrong as compared to the Paper Mate Murado, but we're gonna find out. These pencils come pre-sharpened. Can I just say something though at this moment? So 
uh, well, it's great that you know you sell a pencil pre-sharpened, and, and this Paper Mate's not the only brand to do this. Really, really, this is pre-sharpened. Okay, what are you going to do with this point? This is kind of, I mean, you're going to write five words with it uh, if you're, and then and then what? You need to sharpen it. I mean, come on. Why don't buy, if this is the sharpening you're going to give us, don't bother. Okay, we'll sharpen the pencil ourselves or give us a real point that we can start writing with. Especially if you're marketing a pencil that has this super strong lead, um, then I wouldn't think it would be a problem to give us some exposed. Certainly shouldn't break um, in shipment. Uh, if it's so strong, uh, if it's to hold up, but we'll see. Anyway, it's just a pet peeve of mine. Sorry about that little rant. Um, but I will sharpen this pencil properly and uh, we will get to writing. And here's a closer look at the imprint. Paper Mate, ever strong, break resistant lead. Of course, there's no lead in here. We know that. And uh, HB2, and there's the ferrule, okay? So this is the reincarnation of the Murado right here. I put a, a better point on this Papermate Everstrong pencil. Uh, so let's, let's write with it, shall we? Okay, uh, a decent line on the page, and we'll have to compare it. It actually, it actually feels slightly less scratchy than the Murado. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Says reinforced break resistant lead. Uh, so far, it's wearing pretty well. I mean, in terms of uh, point retention. So now I've got my. Murado here. And I just want to let me get this out of the way. Okay. The uh, Murado, by comparison, let's take a closer look here. Um, the Murado is a little noisier, a little, has a little more of a scratch, uh, but I think it is a tad darker of a line. 
uh, in comparison, just slightly, uh, probably because also it has the core is softer. There's, uh, it looks like the, the wood is the same on both of these pencils um, that they're using, uh, but the, they're, they did reformulate the core. There is something different about the Everstrong. Slightlier, waxier, just slightlier. I mean, this just slightly. Um, again, you know, this is things that they're doing to improve the strength of the core. Um, so it does feel a little different. I don't think it's quite as dark. Um, just again, a slight difference between the two. So I have to make sure I'm using the right one here. Let's, let's, um, okay, ever strong. And let's put a little of this down on the paper. Fairly quiet pencil. Okay, let's look at erasability here. Uh, we're going to start with the eraser that's attached, which Murado used to boast it was a pink pearl. They don't say that on here. Looks to be the same color. Um, Wait, let me see, am I in all the way? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. The attached eraser. Not great, but better than a lot of other attached erasers. Okay, let's try some of our favorite block erasers here. We'll try a Pentel. Very nice job there, uh, a Mars. Again, very good job. Let's try a pink carnation. Okay. Decent uh, Milan from Spain. Yeah, pretty good. Um, what's left of my art gum here? These are so crumbly. Love the smell of them, though. Oh, very good with the art gum. Uh, what else do I have in my little eraser box? Mini softy. And uh, let's try this Hartmuth natural rubber on it. There you go. Well, as is often the case, with these pencils. The attached eraser left the most shadowing, but almost all the other block erasers erased really well. Uh, so on erasability, uh, I'm gonna give it an A minus and it, it, it lost a few points just because the, the attached eraser is so bad. Here's something I didn't check earlier. Put a little of this down. Let's see. Uh-huh. One more sweep. So, for a, you know, fortified 
core, we do have a little bit of a smudge thing going on there. Okay. So, let's put another finer point on the pencil. Okay. And do some more writing. Let me zoom out a little bit. Well, you know, it's a, it's a decent writing pencil, I think that, uh, and I will say, um, as you know, I'm a heavy-handed writer, and I'm putting a really sharp, fine point on this pencil lead here, and um, it's holding up. It's not, it's not breaking. You know, even the, the fine tip. Mm -hmm. And I think that perhaps Papermate is looking to grab some more of the pencil market by trying to do something unique uh, and with all the inexpensive wooden pencils that are out there from the dollar store to the house brands pen and gear uh, up and up things like that um, Jot. I think that uh, the, the this is a very classic and nice looking, really, uh, pencil, and the brake resistant lead may be a a feature that would appeal to people um, that might spend the extra dollar, say for the paper made pencils as opposed to uh, a cheaper wooden pencil. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so here is the uh, Murado replacement, I guess, for lack of a better description. Um, the Paper Mate Ever Strong Number Two Pencil featuring brake resistant lead, uh, relatively smooth writer, uh, a nice dark tone line, certainly within the realm of uh, number 2HB, uh, a uh, very erasable pencil. Uh, in terms of the mark, especially with most of the more popular block erasers, uh, less so with the attached eraser. And uh, I think you can write more and sharpen less with this particular pencil, uh, particularly probably compared to the Murado with its other uh, older designed core. So there it is. Thank you for spending time with me and for going through this new pencil offering with me. If you like what I do here, please share, like, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon right here on Always Analog.